Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use the app Remini. Now you've probably heard about Remini because of TikTok or something like that. Because people are basically creating AI photos of themselves with really cool effects. Such as this one where you can turn yourself into a baby. Or even this one at the top that's been circling around recently where people are basically making AI yearbook photos. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And I'm also going to explain everything else that Remini is actually capable of. So the first thing that is actually available is Enhance. So what you can do is upload photos like I have here. As you can see, I've uploaded some photos of Elon Musk. And to actually enhance them, all we have to do is click on it and then select Enhance. And from there, it will actually enhance the photo. Now, this will take a few seconds, so you do have to leave it for a little bit. But now it's done. As you can see, it has actually been enhanced and it looks a lot more HD than it did before. We can use this slider to actually slide across and see. And as you can see, it does actually make a massive difference. It removes all of the noise from the photo. And it just makes it look a lot more clear and HD. Now, if you choose the color option, it will actually show you different kind of colors and it will edit in different ways. So if you're trying to change your photo a little bit, you can put it in here and see which version you like best. Now, there's also some other things we can do with this enhancer, but I'm going to get onto the main thing that people are here for, and that is the AI photos. So... The first thing you want to do if you want to create an AI photo is go to the bottom middle where it says AI photos. Now when you get on here to start with, it will actually ask for your gender. So you just want to choose either male or female. And then from there you're getting to step two which is this one. And here you have to actually upload your selfies. So I've uploaded some photos of Elon Musk because I don't have any pictures of myself. And you will actually have to upload eight photos. So if you don't have eight selfies or eight photos of yourself, you might have to take a few in order for this to work. So from here, you can just click continue. And now we can actually choose a model image. Now, what this actually means is it will basically create an image of yourself with the overall style and composition of the model image you pick. So, for example, if we choose this baby one here on the left, it will turn our Elon Musk photos into a baby. Or if we choose this one on the right where he's wearing a suit, it will actually turn it into professional headshot photos. So this is up to you really. You want to pick which one you want. But let's just say I wanted this top left one in the yearbook. All I would have to do is click that. And from there, we have to just click use this model image and it will start generating it. Now this will take about six minutes to start with. And I'm not going to show you the outcome on this video because I've already done some videos showing this. However, if you are doing this for yourself, you just have to wait six minutes. And after that, you will have all of the photos that it gives you and it will also give the option to save and delete those photos. Now the final thing Remini has to offer is AI filters. So if we go to this option in the bottom right corner, we can actually revamp reality with AI filters. So from here we will actually have to pick our photos. So again, I'm just using a photo of Elon Musk. I'm just going to click here to upload the selfie. And now we just have to wait a few seconds. So as you can see, this is it before and this is it with the yearbook one filter on. Now, it's pretty impressive how it does this. It's pretty accurate and it does look really good. So you can basically just play around with all of these AI filters. It does take a few seconds for them to load. But once they are loaded, you can see the photo and you can drag it across to see the before and after differences. And you can basically just repeat this process until you find something that you like. As you can see, this is a kind of cartoon one. Some of the outcomes from these photos are really cool. So I would recommend that you try this out for yourself and just play around with it. So that has been my tutorial on how to use Remini. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you now fully understand how to use Remini. And if you did find this video helpful, please comment down below to say this video helped you out and also like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.